Hi, in this video I will show you how to secure VSFTPD server with TLS on Ubuntu 2004. And you have a bonus at the end of the video to have more security on the FTP server. To better understand this video, first, I advise you to watch the first video which describes the steps of installing and configuring an FTP server. You can find it at the top of the video. For this tutorial, we use Ubuntu 20.04 and VSFTPD server and we will use a self-signed SSL certificate to encrypt the FTP transmissions. It's important to keep a few things in mind when using FTP. It is not encrypted by default meaning your credentials and files that you send are vulnerable to interception. To address this you should connect to VSFTPD using FTPS FTP over SSL TLS. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will use a self-signed SSL certificate. Let's begin by creating a new certificate with the Open SSL tool. We will find the Open SSL command in the description. You will be asked to enter some details like country, etc. You don't have to fill these in. You can just press enter for defaults. Now that your private key has been created, there are a few changes we have to make to the VSFTPD configuration file. Make sure port 990 for TLS is already opened. You can find all the details of how to configure the firewall step by step in the first video, as well, all the installation and configuration details of VSFTPD server. You can find it at the top of the video. Open the config file, sudo vi slash etc slash vsftpd.con. You will find all the configuration lines in the description. Most of these settings are self-explanatory. First, enable SSL and specify the location of the RSA certificate to use for SSL. Next, disable SSL for anonymous users and to require SSL for both data transfer and logins. We also disabled insecure SSL protocols and will be sticking to TLS version 1.0. And finally, we have disabled the reuse of SSL and require high encryption cipher suites. Now, save and exit. Restart VSFTPD. sudo systemctl restart vsftpd.service. We can now test TLS. We recommend FileZilla, which works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Enter your server's IP, your FTP username and password you created earlier in the first video, and click Quick Connect. You may be presented with an unknown certificate warning. Click always trust this certificate in future sessions and click OK. Now we have a secured FTP server. Try uploading, creating, and editing folders and files within the home directory to ensure permissions are working correctly. This step is entirely optional, but it's recommended for more security. By default, when creating an FTP user, if not explicitly specified the user will have SSH access to the server. 
You should disable shell access to the FTP user to improve security. To disable it, you should disable their SSH access by blacklisting their username in the SSH config file. Open the SSH config. sudo vi slash etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config. Add the deny user's FTP user to the bottom of the file replacing FTP user with the user you want to deny SSH and SFTP access. You can add multiple users here separated by a single space. Save file and exit. Restart the SSH service. sudo service sshd restart. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this video in the comment. Make sure to subscribe, so you don't miss out on my future videos.